Alright guys, your yeah, HA sir, this is part two of Lono. We're heading on the track that uh, takes you down to Ormo Hills. So I'm just gonna keep on cruising down here. But um, I, did, I was listening to, um, oh here comes some people. George Nori. See what these people are up there. I'll put it. I'll put it down, but I'll keep it on. Um, keep it recording. See what they've done. They probably fucking bogged a bit. He's gone. All right, I didn't expect to see anyone out here. No, I'm just getting out hike out, mate. Getting a right. bit of exercise. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't seen any uh, yowies out here, have you? No, I don't think so. You don't know nothing about them? No. No. Oh, okay, be careful. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't try to freak it out, man. <laughs> no, no. That used to be a real wall one here, man. No. <laughs> no, no shit. <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to try to scare it. Uh, they're just getting fit. They're getting fit, all right. The creek will be running again after they get up there. The amount of sweat that's coming out of it. She's not a bad. She's not a bad hike. Oh, that's the one. That's a good way to get fit. Oh, jeez. Just check these makers very cool. Yep. <laughs> Looks like I'm driving in a quarry. Yeah, I was listening to that Paul oh, what's his name? George Nori and Paul Sally, the guy that does all the um four one one stuff. And something that I don't know. Oh oh shit. Oh god. I always think that um yeah, yeah, he's a more like just you know like an ape or a gorilla or whatever. Flesh and blood. But is it just something that he said last night? He said like when he writes a book he's he's six months he's got six months more information that he knew before he wrote that book, you know, he's like six months ahead. And he I don't know, someone I I don't know, if someone asked him or he said, just keep an open mind to everything. Don't you, if, you, if you're looking into the air, oh, he said Bigfoot and Sasquatch. If you're looking into them, he goes, look into everything. He goes, look into UFOs, look into orbs. So it's something, I didn't think that would, I, I, I really didn't think that, even though I've read heaps of reports, it's just something that I, I don't know, I can't see how it is, but... I don't know, he's, by the sounds of it, he seems to think that they're all linked together. I know other people have said it. I'm not going to go down that path yet, but it's something I'm going to keep an open mind to it. There's no use being just shut off and don't listen to other people's opinions because you get something good out of everyone, no matter what they're doing. So, yeah, but yeah, that, that I don't know, it really changed me last night when I was listening to that. I was like, Wow. So, yeah, for now on. Because he was saying that they're, is it three dimensional or what? Three, I don't know. Three. So he said, oh, he, he thinks like sometimes when they're hunting, they might be invisible. Or, I don't know. No, I'm just going to get out and have a look around. I think I've done the um, throw apparent on the car, so it sounds like when you put your foot on the clutch, the noise goes away. Jeez, that's not good. I'm not changing that. Well, that's pretty steep. So I'd say that creek where I just was before probably runs down through there. It's definitely got to be checked out, I reckon. I can see all rocks. Running down now, I'd say that's it for sure. What a mad place, eh? So many good places around, eh? That you just 
I don't know if you don't get out and have a look, because you just don't have it there. I think I can see water down there. Yeah, there's water in it. Or is it a car? Alright, so where we are. So, yeah, uh, yeah, we could definitely survive in here. Hairy man, whatever. It's pretty steep. Apparently, they like steep ledges. That's another thing you were saying. Steep ledges near water. So. I like it. I just don't like the hilly part of steep ledges if I've got to walk up them. I'll we'll go down a bit further. Back in again. Yeah, today if this, this will just be a drive through, just a quick one. I think you'd have to come up here a bit earlier. In the day, it's another place you need a dirt bike. I think I'm going to invest in one. So I can get a. I don't know. I've got plans to travel and do this as well. So. Tell you what, this area is pretty cool. It really is steep for you guys. You just until you come here and have a look, you won't you probably won't comprehend it. And it's just some it's just somewhere where you wouldn't think it would be steep. I don't know. Just, I tell you what, these guys have walked up this hill have done bloody good. Now I'm gonna get out. See if we can see any company. You can hear them bangs, they're just like tipper trucks, obviously at the quarry. Oh, that was me. Actually there's a truck down there, oh. I might be one of the tracks for the um Oh there was a heap of water down there. I wasn't planning on walking today but I can't help myself. I don't know one takes me great water. So yeah, there's a track. Come on with that track. How do you get to that? It's a bit of water. Hill straight across. Yeah, and this is a good place, eh? Hey? This is this is really good for me. up there you can see how much deeper it gets up through there. Alright. Alright, I'm back in. Yeah so one day we'll spend a bit of time out here I think. I'd like to just sleep here tonight. Not game enough but Good. Oh, this one. Oh, this one's been gone for ten already too. 
All right, guys, I'm going to shut it down and catch his on part three, guys.